afternoon right now. Um, I'm almost done it, but I want to add a few things to it, and I thought I'd walk you through my process for that. It's feathers, as you can see. Um, I've used white phyllo turquoise, and actually I've used Payne's Gray instead of black, because I was out of black, and I went, oh, and then I realized Payne's Gray is going to make a gorgeous deep enough color to get the black and go into some grays. And today I just want to go and I'm going to fix it a little bit. I've got some, I want to fill in a little bit more here on the feathers. I've done it. I like the, I like the white. I love the turquoise. I just need to finish it up a little bit and then I'll be done. But I thought it might be interesting for you to see all the things that I do and how I paint it. Um, feather, my feathers seem to be pretty popular, so I thought I would explain to you. So uh, these are all the brushes I use to do my painting of this particular painting. You can tell they're old. They're gorgeous. I love them. I used a nice broad flat to do my stroking. Um, I used the fan brush to get my feathers. Um, I also use <clears throat> a beautiful little filbert or cat's tongue to do some of the feathers because I love how it doesn't give you a flat start. It gives you a nice, soft, rounded edge. Um, sometimes I'll use my palette knife. This one I like because it has those rough edges and so you can kind of scrape through. And <clears throat> another filbert that I love. You can tell it's getting a little wobbly. I've had these guys for a few years and I'm off all. I'll leave them sitting in water for sometimes a week. So it's really important to get a really good brush to start with, which is what I do. I like very, very much like our HJs that I carry, the Heinz Jordans. And this is my, my little secret weapon, is a toothbrush. And I use toothbrushes for lots of scrubbings and pullings and you can dip it in the paint or you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And it's just a little, I thought, a little quirky thing of mine. Um, another one is the liner. I use that to do some of my lining or to pull out through colors. You know, it's really a matter of you just, you know what effect you want and just important to have the brushes with you. Oops, drop that guy. Um, this one here is one of my favorite little brushes because he's firm. See how firm he stays and how beautifully sharp the edge stays? That's after a year of painting and abuse. And I'm rough on my brushes and he always keeps his edge. So he's well worth the price. It's worth it to get a decent brush rather than a bunch of inexpensive brushes. And I thought I would share that with you. Um, the colors that I used were, let me just grab those for you. I love the phyllo blue, turquoise phyllo blue of golden. And I also use the golden um, hard, heavy body in titanium white and Payne's gray. So I'm going to be touching that up today and then I'll give it a spray. Um, probably just with like a Kmar varnish so it's not too, it's more of a sateen finish and I like that. Give it a really good shake and spray it. I'll do another video on spray another time. But I just thought it'd be interesting to, to show it still in the studio and, and not finished, but almost finished. I started painting this painting because, um, I don't know if you can see me good, because I had a dreamscape about black feathers. I woke up with that in my mind and I thought, oh, I need to paint feathers again. And I do feathers often, maybe a couple of times, three times a year, I'll have this urge. And it's because I woke up with the dreamscape in my head. And um, then I was just starting the process of this painting and I went for a walk with my dog and found right in front of my footsteps on, on an open path, no trees around or anything, or like trees are around, but they're not over it. And there was a black feather. So I took that as a, 
an affirmation that this was what I was supposed to be doing at this moment. And I started to do my feathers. And I think they're turning out fairly well. And I'll, I'll let you see when I'm done. Bye for now.